Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. Tonight I've got an important gun news update. A major sporting goods retailer, Academy Sports, has quit displaying AR-15s, AK-47s, and other similar semi-automatic rifles on their display shelves. Now it looks like right now they've just pulled these guns from the shelves. They still have them in the stores. Obviously they've got all their distribution lines and things that are delivering the guns to the stores and, and I think they're all still there. They're just not displaying them. I'm guessing they have them either in the back room or locked up below the counter or something like that. It seems like if you ask for one of these guns, they'll still sell it to you. They're just not displaying any of them. They've pulled them from the shelves, they've pulled them from the ads. They're intentionally giving off the appearance that they don't have these guns in stock, which from a PR standpoint is almost the same as banning these guns or ceasing to carry these guns. Now Academy has contracts with Century Arms, with Wyndham Weaponry, with Smith & Wesson, with all these big companies that sell a lot of these rifles that are either anywhere from low end to pretty decent rifles. They have a pretty good selection. Uh, so we don't know if this is a temporary thing, if this is a permanent thing. What we do know is that it's a knee-jerk reaction to the Orlando shooting that happened just a few days ago. Now, we saw a similar reaction from Dick's Sporting Goods after the Newtown, Connecticut incident in 2012. They quit carrying AR-15s and similar platform rifles. Now, it wasn't all semi-automatic rifles because you can definitely still go in there and buy like a Woodsmaster or a Ruger 1022, something like that. It was just semi-automatic rifles in certain intermediate calibers. So, on, honestly, it's guns that look scary, that are that have a lot of black plastic on them and look scary, or look like a Russian gun, stuff like that. You can still go buy 223 ammo or 7.62 ammo in Dick Sporting Goods. You just can't buy the magazines or the rifles themselves. I'm not sure if this is the case in Field and Stream stores up north. Down here we only have Dick's Sporting Goods that have a section called The Lodge, which is kind of like a mini Field and Stream store. Uh, I imagine it's the same case. If you know, please comment. I'd, I'd like to hear an update. Down here you can't buy an AR-15 in a Dick's Sporting Goods store. And it seems like Academy is taking a page out of that playbook and doing the same thing. Again, we don't know if this is temporary, we don't know if this is permanent, we don't know if Academy's getting out of guns in general. All we know is what they've said. Now, I originally heard this um, through a post from the Firearms blog, or TFB TV. They've got a very big YouTube channel. Uh, they've actually asked me to do some stuff for their channel, and I, I couldn't at the time, but, but they're a great resource for gun news. Uh, but they originally posted this yesterday, and then I went to my local Academy store today and I confirmed that they did not have any AR-15s uh, or any AK platform rifles on the shelves. And I saw just a few days ago they did. So I know they intentionally took them off the shelves. It's not like they just sold out or they're out of stock or something. So this is happening. I don't know if this is just one store's knee-jerk reaction, but a lot of times after a mass shooting, uh, we just see dramatic reactions, whether it's media sensationalizing things, politicians using events like this sadly for corrupt means of just empowering themselves and getting their own measures in place, um, or just stores taking a stance that they honestly don't need to take. It, it doesn't make that big of a difference either way, um, except to the community that you're probably going to be pissing off by one stance or the other. Um, if you just keep quiet and keep doing what you're doing, generally things are fine. Uh, but we don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing, if this is just right now, they just wanted to be discreet about it and just kind of pull things off the shelves. I think that's still a bad move because now they're drawing a bunch of attention for doing that. Um, but we'll kind of see where this goes. So, to people in the gun community, prepare yourselves accordingly. I think you know what that means. We've seen enough of these events to kind of know the direction that things are going to go. Whether that's about to happen or not, it will happen again at some point, so please be prepared. Um, to people who are either not in the gun community or people who are just getting into guns or people just interested in the subject, uh, just pay a lot of attention to the media because I don't think this will be the last store pulling something or the last sensationalized media we're going to see. So just be prepared, pay attention. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.